Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Um, yeah, so yeah, how's everyone doing today? Uh, cool, Thomas DeVisser, first time chat, long time friend. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out. Um, cool, yeah, so today there's a few things. There's, uh, so this is, this is my week where we talk about Gutenberg um, stuff, uh, first of all. There is a new version of a, the Gutenberg plugin, which is uh, right here, which is for 15.0. I think that there's actually point release out now as well, but um, this is the this is what I'm going to be looking at 15.0. Um, and yeah, I I, I, have, I have this. Oh God, I have to say this as well because if you're here from the Meetup group, please let me know because I'd like to be able to acknowledge you. Um, there's a WordPress meetup group and my streams. I'm lucky enough to have my streams listed there as well so people can sign up and come say hey. So if you're from that group, drop a wave. Uh, and if you're feeling up to it, like, or like, is there a like? Is not a like here. You can follow me or uh, you can do, um, um, you know, whatever. What am I trying to say? You can um, uh, subscribe if you're so inclined. Uh, cool. So, so um, this release is not a ton, not a, it's not a huge release. Now, not every every release is full of all kinds of stuff. Some of them are, pre, are are pretty small. So, if we if you have a read of that post, you can kind of see what everything is. Um, there's a few highlighted things. Um, one that I'm pretty excited about is this one. So the block inspector tabs. So previously in the 14.9 release. You had a, um, uh, there was an experiment. So you would go in, uh, let's go in here. So in our in our plugins, let's make sure I've got my plugin installed. So first of all, none of these things are gonna work unless you have the, the Gutenberg plugin installed and activated. So go ahead and get it and install it. Make sure you're version 15 or higher and it should work. So if once that plugin's enabled, you can used to be able to go on, under experiments over here on the right hand side. And then there was an experiment that, uh, uh, down here for for the um, for the, the inspector tab uh, experiment. So what that did was essentially split the inspector controls. So let me show you what it looked like before. Uh, let me show you how. Yes, I will disable the plugin. That's what I'll do. I will disable Gutenberg. I will come into uh, my posts. Uh, can anyone see this? Okay, there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So if I were to come into here and I were to Click on say image, right? So you see we've got, oh, I'm gonna move me out of the way now. Um, we've got styles up here, and then we've got a bunch of settings and all this stuff down here now. Uh, so it's kind of, it's a, it, there's a lot going on, right? A lot of things all in this one area. So if, if you actually, I'm gonna come back in here and re-enable Gutenberg, and then I'll refresh this page. I think we should see a change here immediately. So grab this, now you see we've got these two tabs over here on the right-hand side. Let me just move this. Everyone can see that, okay? So this is all your style stuff, and this is all like your settings, right? So that's kind of the idea. I think that's even what they say if you hover. Styles, settings, right? So now it's it's split in two. So that's that makes life a lot easier uh, in, in many cases because um, we don't have this gigantic list of things. Some of the really complicated blocks um, uh, that have a lot of features and have a lot of like style and, and color controls and typography controls, dimensions, borders, all that stuff, um, that gets dropped in there. But then you want to add your settings, like you know you want to have your your whatever you want to put in here. All, all your settings. so it gets really really onerous. So that is the big thing. And now that's been stabilized, meaning that it's it's no longer an experiment. It's a thing. Oh, thanks for the follow. G Hansel, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, subscriber. Nope, never mind. Thanks for the follow. I don't know what that just happened. I don't like that. So anyway, so I got to thinking. Well, this is great for these like regular, regular like core blocks. It's awesome. But how do we use them in in our custom blocks? Because that's going to be something that I think is really important. And so I did a little, I did a little um, digging this morning. <laughs> and I scaffolded it out a block, a very, very simple block. I just used the create block tool uh, just to scaffold that one really quick. And I wanted to show some, some code stuff. So uh, let's jump into my code. So I'm gonna uh, move me back over here. And this is my block. Um, 
just let me know if people can't see this. So what I basically done, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna close this down. Is, uh, is it okay, Reed? Just let me know if, if you want me to zoom it in. Um, so what I've basically done here is, um, I'm gonna hide some of this stuff. And we'll kind of just kind of take, we'll kind of go go through it. Um, we'll kind of go through it as, as we need to. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna delete this block just to make this nice and easy. Uh, so it's easy to see. So uh, I'm gonna update this. I'm gonna refresh this. Okay, so now I've got this little block here. And you see, so I've defined um, color controls my block.json, which I'll have open right here. So it's a, it's a very straightforward block. I've got basically background color, and I guess text color is also, uh, text color is also true, and we'll just add whatever, what's a uh, link color, we'll set that to true as well. So I should have these three color con controls sitting in my, in, in my sidebar here, right? Um, so all that stuff is automatically enabled, right? So I, I, I don't, I'm not doing anything in, in the code, not doing anything magical at all. So all the color stuff gets put in the styles and the, the advanced tab, which is it's basically there for all the blocks, um, uh, gets put in the settings. So what if we want to add something else, right? Well, it's you can add any, the blocks support stuff. If we do, what, let's see, typography, and we go font size, and we'll say true. This is all gonna get kind of dropped in there. Um, Right, so it'll just automatically get shown up, get shown up, get shown in there. So now we've got, see, we've got, we've got our, our typography cool tools. Great, awesome, perfect, awesome. So what if we want to put something custom in? Where does that go? So it, and so what we can do is we can import our inspector controls component, which is how we put stuff in that sidebar, anyways. And if we just did a really basic one that just looks like this. Um, right, we're gonna kind of build up to it here so you can see what I'm doing, right? So we'll just go uh, this, uh, you know, we'll call it whatever. Um, uh, your, your uh, in the in the inspector controls, right? So that's how we would do it normally with a block, like uh, the standard way of doing it. Um, so this will appear in in the right hand side. Now when that happens, we're gonna refresh. When that happens, that it, it doesn't go into the styles, it actually goes in, into the settings tab here. All right, so, so this is the panel that I've created. So that's, you know, so that's all normal. So you, so if your block uses inspector controls, which a lot of them do, they will, all your custom stuff is gonna, it's gonna appear in, inside of this. Um, this was an amazing feature for developers, but intuitive, like not intuitive? Unintuitive, yeah. How would they know if something is advanced or custom without click, clicking through panels, both panels for every block? Well, I think it's more like it's it's. I think the the differentiation is more like styles and settings. Um, like, so if you want, like, you know, your style and maybe styles is, isn't the right word. I mean, it's a good point, but I think that I think I think we should think of it as in, in terms of styles and settings. Styles are styles. You know, I want to have a whatever background color. Uh, you know, all that stuff. I don't know what is going on with with with, with my theme here, right? But um, and then a setting is something else, right? Um, so if you add a custom option, so the question here is this one. Um, is that gonna work? Yeah. Aesthetic versus function. Yeah, you can think of it that way. The way it looks versus the way it it, it works. Yep. Um, so if you had a custom option for something that is styling related, you can still add it to the left panel. Yes, you can. You have to do it in a slightly different way. So any block supports that is style based is going to end up in here. So if we want to get, if, if we want to kind of make a, you know, if we want to make a real, um, sort of verbose, um, example, is border not in here? Uh, You can't do border. I think you can do border and block. Oh, you, I think you do that at, at the theme level. Um, right. So yeah, anything in there? I think you can uh, in your theme. You kind of. I didn't test this, so we're gonna we're gonna try it. So I I also have a, a theme going on here, so I should be able to go. 
uh, blocks, core navigation, typography. So I'm going to add like something to my block. My block is called, what's my block called? It's called this thing. All right, I put that in there. I should be able to go border, um, border true. Wait, oh wait, am I in styles? I'm in the wrong thing. Sorry. All right. I need to get into, uh, I think I need to get into blocks. Do I have blocks in here? Where does it go? It goes under settings, maybe? Um, blocks. Let's try that. So I don't think it goes there. I'm not creating a style. Um, I just want to have some things going on. Let me... So if I just put that in there, what options does this give me? Tell how many times I, I do this. Uh, border, and we'll say um, color true. All right, so we're gonna put a border on this. So now I think if I refresh this now, I will get um, also border in here. Let's see. Um, what did I just break? <laughs> what did I just break? Oh, great. Uh, okay, what's this? When I broke something here, it's gotta be something broken. Um, let's see. Oh, that might do it right there. Okay, let's try that again. I had some bad, that's some bad, it's bad JSON in there. So in here, let's see, do I not have border? Interesting, okay. So I, I'm gonna have to, I think, play a bit, uh, with that a bit. Um, or dimensions was this uh, spacing and come on now what is going on formatting all messed up there we go um and then wait do i have okay i have parents okay all right i i need to i think i need to dick around with this a bit and make it uh Let's see what's happening there. Yeah, typography. Yeah, it's not being added. Weird. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll have to figure that out. Hello, uh, Figurin O Theater. Welcome to the chat. Thank you so much. Uh, cool. Anyway, so that's where that stuff's going to go. So that's we. If we want to put our own stuff in, that's where I was going with this. Uh, if you want to put our own stuff in, I'm gonna close this down. Embarrassing me. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. You can do this in a couple of ways. So there is this experiment. There's this. There's this prop for the inspector. Can, controls um, that is called experimental group and you can find them uh, where are they? in here so this is this is this is how the slot system is set up right? so I'm gonna put this in here so this is actually inside of the the uh, the block inspector you can see uh, inspector controls that slot you can see expector controls, a bunch of expector controls dot slot. So if you're not familiar with, with the slot fill system, it basically works like this. Wherever there's a dot slot, something can be added to it via the dot fill. So that's what we're sort of doing here. Um, and yes, and there's a couple of questions in chat. What is that? Is it possible to add styles to the left panel functionality and function and then tough? Um, no, what? There, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second here. So um, what we're doing here um, is, okay, so if we wanna say add something to, to the color subsection, right, we can add this code. Where am I, where's my code, where's my code? We'll add this code, we'll add an inspector controls, and then we will apply the experimental group and call it color. And then when we come in here now, this, sh not that, <laughs> this should, and I click on this, we now have, we've added some custom stuff inside of the color. Now you, you, you can do this with all of them. Um, I'm gonna do all the ones that I know about, which are right here. I'm just gonna replace this, that. All right, so we've got color, typography, dimensions, border. All right, and we will refresh this. So now we've got stuff in the typography. 
So I'm in a typography group. Well, that's interesting. So what happens if I reset it? Okay, so it you don't see it in until it's actually opened up. That's a bit interesting. Okay. And then we got dimensions, and then we've got borders. So you can get act you can get stuff in there. Now the problem, uh, uh, it's not really a problem, but the thing is you can't, as far as I can tell, there's no way of just putting something in at the top of color, like in, in a different place. Like for example, it, you know, to add, like to, to do this. So I've got this, right? I added that, but there's also the advanced. Yeah? So if you want to add something inside of advanced, there is an advanced, advanced, uh, which is the word I'm trying to say. Uh, there is an advanced inspector control, so I'll just put it up, up here, right? So there's an experimental group called advanced. And then we'll refresh this block again, grab this. Now you can look, in my advanced, I've added this, now it sits inside advanced. I don't think there's any way to add anything inside of this panel that's not in a subgroup. Is that kind of, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So like, like if we look at this, there's no way of getting it in there as far as I can tell. Yeah, I think border properties is declared in theme.json. Yeah, it is. I just, uh, maybe I have to do it at the non-block level. Let's let's see. Let's see. If Daisy on WP was here, she would know. She knows everything about this stuff. Um, so if I go settings and I go border and I go what options, color, true, right? I'm just gonna set everything to have a border a border color and then we'll just uh switch this in here and we'll grab that it's just it's not it's not showing up in block here so i don't know what i don't know what the deal is um maybe i need to get out of that i clearly have to do a lot more no this is not there okay well whatever Clearly, clearly need to do some more um, uh, theme development. Yeah, cool. All right, so that is that. Oh, right. Okay, so now here's here's the million dollar question. And I, if Corey was here, or maybe Phil or Kevin, someone would be like, "Oh, how do you turn this off?" It is possible to disable this um, if you want. I don't know why you'd want, but it is possible. Uh, I'll show you. But with great power comes great responsibility, as my son would say, who's obsessed with Spider-Man. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so we need to do a couple of things to make this happen. Um, okay, I'm gonna just basically, I got all this. I'm gonna grab this button and put it inside. That should work. Is that gonna work? Did I break it? Let's see. It looks like I might have broken it. Nope, I think we're good. Okay, so I, I'm just creating a button here that's going to basically turn off tabs. So how would you disable the Gutenberg plugin with the code, with this code in there? Great question. Um, it all still works. That's a great question. Check this out. So if I go into plugins, so let's look and see what we got, right? So in here, uh, we've got these things in the color group, we've got this, you just ignore that for now, right? But what'll happen is it'll all go away. Not go away, it'll all be in um, in a single column again. So if I refresh this now, grab the block, you can see everything's back. Everything is where it needs to be. All these all these groups, experimental groups were st still work. Um, so that's how that works. It's a great question, Kevin. And welcome to the stream, Kevin. Kevin! Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna just reactivate that again. And so there is a, deep in the bowels of, of, of the code when it's rendering these tabs, there is a check to see if the block editor setting allows for tabs. So so this this does this, my, this, this is over the weekend. Yeah, you go ahead. Um, let me let me take it. So there is a all right. So there is a there is a, a a selector on the block editor store called Get Settings, and what that's going to do is that's going to show you the settings for, for for the block editor and all the things that the block editor can and cannot do. And so there, and inside of that, we've got this thing called Block Inspector Tabs. 
okay so if we if we um, console.log the settings all right I'm just going to show you settings here console.log settings in here uh, inspect and then uh, make this a little bit bigger and make this actually readable for those tuning in at home uh, we should be able to put, put no pressure is that a build? Yeah, there you go. So you can see that's a little bit big, I think. So you can see we've got this massive object of settings, right? And the thing that we really care about is this one, this block inspector tabs. So what this took me it took me a minute to figure this out, but from my understanding, this is all if it this is an opt-out object, if that makes sense. So these two blocks won't use the the the, the tab setting. So if we want to make it not work for our block, we have to add our block to this list. Okay, so we can do that. And so um, in the code, so we're like I said, so we're getting the settings, and then we're we're, we're, we're actually going to use this this dispatcher. And Tom um, Thomas Divisor, um, this is for you. So this is this stuff. Hey Corey, how's it going? Um, Welcome to, to the stream. This is what I was talking about, about um, uh, selectors in and dispatchers. So a selector pulls, retrieves, the dispatcher tells us the word something needs to change. And so what, what we want to do is we, we're going to get the settings and then we're going to call update settings and we're going to add our block to the list of blocks that should not use this tabbed system, right? Cool, awesome. So yeah, so yeah. So then I'm just using a, this is, I'm just using a piece of state to toggle like a true false thing. Okay, awesome. That's awesome, Thomas, thanks. Um, stores can be a bit, you wait till you, you get into thunks. They're, they're awesome, but it's like, what? That's, that's, that was my face when I first read about it. Uh, cool. So what I'm doing down here is I'm just managing my state to show or hide tabs. And then I'm, 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 I'm dispatching update settings with all the settings that are currently there. Then I'm going to add, um, I'm, I'm going to change block inspector tabs, but I'm going to spread everything that's already in there. And then I'm going to add my own block to that list. And this is gonna be true or false, so I can just sort of show, show the toggle. So, and then I'm doing some, some ternary da add, add down here to show, to change the text based on the, the state of the, of, of the, of the toggle, of the, the tabs. Um, I know I could probably do that in a much cleaner way. So no more, no, no. <laughs> okay, so cool. What I'm gonna do here is so if I grab this and I come into advanced now and I click that, you can see now it's gone all, it's gone back to a, oh, let's see, is that hard to see? Maybe I'll move myself, sorry. So that's, that's, uh, that, that's gone back to a, uh, um, the, the sort of, the single column. If you, and if you click it again, it it goes back to the top, the the toggle. So there might be a, there might be a time where you'd want to use that. I don't know. Maybe depending on your state of a block, you might need you might want to split that out. I don't know, like I don't know if changing the UI in the middle of using it is a good idea, but it might be something that you want to do when your block is initializing. Um, like you might want to use like a use effect or something or whatever, and then um, just you know add that when the block loads, and then that's the thing so yeah that's kind of all that's that's kind of, that's the first one that's that's this one which I think is really cool and I think there's a lot of stuff that we as block developers and theme developers can do with this um, yeah uh, anything else anyone else any have any questions about anything that, that we've seen here now keep in mind that the 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 tabs will only exist in the Gutenberg plugin so if you don't have the Gutenberg plugin installed um, tabs won't work um, but the the experimental groups property does work for inspector controls um, and, uh, okay cool so the next one is this paste styles options added to block settings so I haven't really played with this but uh, ah the screenshot has got three tabs yes there are three tabs in some blocks the navigation block is one so can I put a nav block in here navigation block no, I can have whatever. Uh, sure. Um, so let's so wait. Uh, so grab navigation. So well, that's strange. Um, I 
Interesting. I don't know how to get there. Is it the nav block? Let's look. Let's let's just look. Uh, let's read. Hmm. Uh, if you enable the off canvas at, uh, experiment, then you use. Oh, okay. So this is experiment. So I think we got to go back into our experiments. Medical experiments. Please, somebody get that reference. Please. Oh, what am I doing? That's not really. Uh, settings, Gutenberg experiments, and then we got this off canvas thing. So we're gonna do that. And we'll save that, and then we'll come back here, and I will refresh this doodad, and I'll grab that, and it doesn't work. Hmm. Nope. That's because that's 150% of the wrong block. Navigation block. There we go. So this. Is, is a special one and I don't really know how we can hijack that because <laughs> it'd be fun to hi hijack that I think um, out of curiosity I want to see what's in here core navigation okay no no there's nothing in there um, you to my knowledge you can't add a custom tab I know there has been conversations around that um, but I am not sure how this is being handled but maybe we can look at some code and we can see um, yeah so inspector controls tab so this is the shows tabs thing I was telling you about so we have the tabs in here so where would the tabs come from um, available tabs so if I can I where is inspector controls tabs? Where is that imported from? Uh, let's see, inspector controls tabs from. Is it in here? Uh, inspector controls tabs. Let's see. Uh, inspector controls tabs. So we we'll look at this. Let's see what we got. Settings tabs, styles tabs. List view. Oh Lord, what is that? Oh, oh. Huh. I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can hijack that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm gonna try to do the same thing here. Oh. Uh, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow, WP Meister. Um, I'm in the list let's see what happens there so okay into here so if I refresh this now look at my block mm. Mm. Right, make sure this is running that's running so experimental group list Oh yeah, maybe. So maybe just maybe it's just the in the navigation block. Good. Uh, hmm. That doesn't. So that's in the list, but it doesn't seem to want to. doing this kind of stuff diving in here tab name equals list view name use is list view to say oh let's look at that let's see what this says where does that pull from allow list dot includes what's a oh this is what's gonna get you Okay, so this is this is not some yeah. So I think this is the problem, not the not necessarily the problem, but I think this is the issue. Um, what this is that's gonna say basically if it's not in this list, this is the only block that can use that. So we might be adding it like it's in the slot fill system, but because the slot's not being rendered, I don't think it's gonna get rendered. Um, I think we're stuck there. This would be awesome. Um, if, but I don't think we're gonna get access to it. So I think that's, I think we're stuck. I think we're stuck. 
But if they ever make it so you can do that, like we just did with the settings, that'd be really cool to be able to like define that in settings. You can easily overwrite this function where you're importing it, right? Um, I don't think it's been exposed. One sec. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it's been uh, source. Let's see. Let's see what's been exposed. I don't think. Settings default, store defaults config. Where was that? That was in components, right? Are you exporting everything from components? I don't think it's, I don't think it's been exported. So we're not going to be able to do it. Um, and I don't think that, no, it's, yeah. So unfortunately, unfortunately we can't. It'd be great if there was a hook or something where you can pass your own block name to that component. You don't have that, to what component? To which component? Are you talking about the function I just wrote? Uh, not wrote the where's this thing where where was that I think controls tab use list is list view enabled where is this one this one this we're talking about inspector control tabs um oh you could probably build your own uh let's actually I don't know let's look let's see if source and inspector control tab. Well, it looks like it's been ex um, exposed, so let's look. Uh, so what am I looking for? I'm going for wp dot block uh, editor exponent. WP is not defined. Do I have good points there? Um, I don't even know what what am I looking for again? <laughs> Yeah, but we don't we don't have access. We can't pass stuff to it. That's the problem. Um, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. So like in, in here, so this is this is just a tab panel, right? And then this this component is it, it might be exported. Let's look. So you pass it the tabs, but we don't we can't mess with the tabs that. Are there because <clears throat> we don't have access to the instance that's being used you could probably take this you could probably I import this and add your own tabs if you wanted to but then you'd have your tabs and their tabs and then be like tabs for days so i don't is that it is that sort of what you're talking about Corey? <clears throat> um yeah i know well while i drink coffee if you're here from the meetup group wave let me know you're here um I'm trying to. I don't know, I'm, I'm obsessed with everyone telling me that, but uh, yes and no. We're talking about we're talking about inserting our own custom stuff into the tabs that exist. So this this is our our custom block. We've got these two tabs, right? We can't add a third tab here because we just don't have the we don't have the we don't have access to it right to the tabs. Um, I think. Um, so yeah. Now, if you were going to create your own interface and use tabs, you could do something like that if you wanted. Uh, but then you'd have like your own tabs and all that. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I think from this one. Uh, the next one that I was going to look at is this paste styles option added to the block settings. So, um, what does it do? Paste styles makes it easier to create multiple blocks with Daniel style. This enables the user to copy a block and then paste another block. The paste styles is available in the top two minutes. Okay, well, that's that's pretty cool. It's, I mean, this is a user interface thing, but I think it's probably pretty handy dandy. Uh, let me just add another one of these blocks in here. Um, GB15 review. 
So if I do this and I pick a background color, I do that, uh, no, do that background color. And then what do you do? So grab that. So I select this block and I go. Uh, uh, how do I? How do I copy the styles? Let me look. Let me look. Yeah. Copy. Oh, copy a block and then just paste the styling. Okay, I see. So if I just do, uh, if I go like this, what? Copy block. Come in here. Grab this one. Paste styles. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. So I, okay. Apparently, I can only do it on HTTPS. HTTP. HTTPS. Which I don't know why it's not HTTPS. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the site. We can talk like that. Get advanced. Yes. Oh. oh. Remind me later. What is happening here? Hold on. Is this is this local being dumb? What's going on here? This is all. Yeah, trust. Okay. Well, apparently it's supposed to work, but I don't know why it doesn't. So let's just see. So can I? Grab this theme. Like right here, I could not that. Oh, I'm all flustered now. Uh, copy block. I have to go ahead. JB, that thing. And if I go base styles. Oh, wants to. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, so it works. You have to be an SS. You have to be an SSH. You have to be secure. Anyways. Can you create variations from the back end now or just edit them? Um, you can register your own block variations. Is that what you're saying? Are you, is this, um... Oh, in, in, in the block that has variations, it's now possible to change your styles with the global panels and you should, in fact, should only see them above. Okay, so let's look at, let's take a look. Uh, let's grab buttons. Buttons are always a good one to test this with because I think they have a bunch of variations. This is a button, yay! Um, all right, so I'm gonna update this. So what do I do? Let's look. So I got a button. We'll look at this video together. We got the button. I'm gonna change the outline. Uh, global styles, blocks, button. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, all right, cool. So we can come into, uh, where was I? So I got the button. I can go into post. No, uh, I probably do it in the site editor, I'd imagine. So let's let's do that. So I go into editor. Can I go into whatever? Let's say I go into my template here. I edit my template. I, I insert some uh, buttons. Uh, what? Get out of here. Buttons. Grab some buttons. This is some text. Okay. If I save this, yeah. I'm just gonna save this and then I can look at this. So then if I come in here, the global styles, I should be able to get into blocks. I should be able to find buttons. Or maybe button. Uh, because it's singular. Outline. And then I can change the color to boy, I don't know. Whatever. Sure. border on it sure why not colors is there a border color uh, oh back oh I'm gonna why didn't y'all move me again colors let's see layout gonna do a bunch of padding whatever so save this save this and then I went oh maybe I haven't picked a uh okay, the other styles yeah, leave styles Click on this, get that, and I go outline, and there we go. Let me change the outline. Okay. So yeah, so your global settings can now affect these these block variations, block style variations, I guess. Yes, that's kind of cool. Now that is kind of cool. However, yeah. So that's cool. Um, rest of this stuff is all 
there's not really a ton of other things. There's some like nice little. Um, well, I should. There's lots that have has have has gone into this, and I mean it's all great work that all needs to be done. But there's you know it's a lot of fixes and a lot of little little small things. So I don't think there's much more that I'm really gonna go over at this point. Um, yeah, unless unless anyone has any any questions or anything that they wanna ask about anything that they've seen in here or any of the stuff that I've talked about so far, it'd be great. Happy to do that. Um, uh, but to, Tristan Bailey, to answer your question, I don't think you can add a new um, variation. I think you can only edit the variations that are there, if that makes sense. Oh, this is not wanting me to log in, which is annoying. Okay, let's see. Okay, because I broke all this SSH stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just get, get out of there. So, we, but, but we can we can have another look there. So we go, go to the editor, and we go uh, templates. Let's go to the page. Oh no, let's go to the index. Grab, I grab this. I'm gonna grab this. And what is this button? Oh, where did my button go? Here's the button. Block. Got the outline now that we set. Now if I save this, I'm gonna save this so I can preview it. I'm going to global styles, blocks, the block button. Yeah, so there, so you can only you can only pick variations that exist, which is cool. But I'm you know the the, the rate that things are being added here, I, I don't imagine it'd be long before there's the ability to kind of create your own variations. Um, awesome. Well, if there's no other questions about this, I'm gonna maybe pivot into something different now. Yeah, so I have seen a lot of things on the interwebs around about people needing to do some kind of post picking, um, in the sense of like uh, like you know, the build a little post picker. Now this can be a term selector too. This this there's a lot of ways that we can do this. So um, I think I thought I was gonna build. I think I'm gonna build that out, um, or at least start to build that out, so we can kind of take a look at that. So I am going to just um, uh, DB fit. I'm just gonna examples yeah, commit all this, and then I'm going to uh, just come back in here, and we're gonna use the npx or the create block package. So the idea is to going to be basically we're gonna have a an interface inside the block editor that's going to uh, allow you to do, uh, allow us to select a, a, a some a post or page or custom post type whatever we want to use, um, and this could be ter a, a term, a taxonomy term, or whatever you know. We're going to do that. So um, and then, yeah. So I think I if so for me to build this, I think what I would do is I would build it out as a dynamic block, meaning that the 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 front end is rendered by a PHP because um, we're going to be wanting to pull in information about these things that's stored in the database so we don't want to save static copies of it right we want to be basically just store a bunch of IDs somewhere and then have those IDs grab a bunch of posts and then spit them out that's the idea okay so um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the NPX create, create block package which I'm gonna, you can see there and so we're gonna, we're gonna give it a name and call it post picker. And I set a namespace of um, Twitch and variant is dynamic. All right. So the namespace just help just makes it more. I'll show you where the namespace is. Um, in the 15.0 one that I just did, uh, the namespace. Is create block and that's the, the default value. So I don't want that for this block. I'm gonna I'm gonna update it so I'm gonna say Twitch and then the the type of block it creates will be dynamic and that's where variant comes from. So it's gonna take a minute to run. Oops, if I can get it running. So that's gonna create a block. It's gonna create some stuff right there. Post picker. Um, yeah. It's gonna let that run for a second. So anyways, the idea behind this thing is I'm gonna have like an interface that allows you to just basically grab. Uh, that queries against a post type will will hard code the post type the post type right and then you'll say like featured streams or something and then um, 
uh, so we want to save those and then output that on the front end. So there's a couple of things that we'll have to access. We'll have to get some, you know, probably use, use entity records, um, stuff like that, right? Cool, awesome, let's do it. Hmm. And okay, so I'm gonna CD into my post picker, picker, and I'm gonna npm start, and that's gonna get my build process happening. And let's look at what it's built out for us. So up in here, we've got in our source directory, we've got a block.json. So you see, we got Twitch is the namespace, name of the blocks post picker. Um, I didn't. I, I, there's a lot of these things that you, that you can add as flags, but I just didn't. Uh, the category is, gonna, yeah, whatever. So the title is post picker, all this stuff, and this is, yeah. and then we've got our index file, which is our um, the block, um, basically the index file for the block. Uh, we're sorry, this is the edit.js, which is the what it looks like inside of the block editor. And then we've got some CSS, and we got our actually registration in here, and then a rendered PHP, which is going to handle the output. Uh, yeah, so. Um, first things first, it drives me nuts when this happens. I need to put an ESLint file in there because for whatever reason, my ESLint and my prettier don't like each other and they fight. So once I do this, I should no longer get errors and auto formatting works like a chart. Okay, so let's get in to the plugin. Get out of here, uh, get out of here. Plugins, it's not plugins. I'm going to go ahead and disable these two plugins because I don't want, um, I don't want the uh, Gutenberg plugin active. But now I gotta find the name of the block that I wrote, or that I just created, it's called Post Picker. There we go. So we got that, we're gonna go to all my posts, and I'm gonna go, now, it could be argued that a Post Picker could just be a, could just be a query loop variation, but maybe not. Maybe not. Um, I may not make the make the most sense. So I'm here I'm gonna post post picker. There's my post picker block. So when you create a block, you get this really generic block thing, right? Really, really simple. So uh, okay, cool. So let's get this open. Oh, not that. Get that open. All right. So we've got our hello for the post picker. So the first thing I think we need to do is, um, well, I'm gonna let me clean some of this up because I don't really like all this. It's kind of annoying to be honest. Um, I'm gonna just do WordPress dependencies. Um, turn on dependencies. There we go. Okay, so we got this this very this pretty simple block. So <clears throat> need to get some data. So let's get some data. So I'm gonna import. Um, I'm gonna use this this hook called use entity uh, record. Oops. I'm about to cough. <coughs> Sorry. Records. And I think it's from core data. So let's just see. So what this is gonna do on cons, we're gonna go post. Okay, so this uh, I love GitHub Copilot. Console.log um, posts posts. Right? So this should give us that this will be an object and it'll have records and it'll have is resolving and have a couple of other things, I believe. Let's see. There we go. So we got so this is what's returned to us. So it's actually an object that returns four items. We've got has resolved, is resolving records and status. So um, the two that are probably the easiest, the most, the simplest to use, or well, I mean, you, there, there, there's use cases for using all these, but the two that we absolutely need, we're gonna need records and we're gonna uh, probably use is resolving, right? So we can do like this. So I'm gonna say posts, requests, post. Um, you know what? Twitch stream. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna say uh, streams request. All right. And then we're gonna go console.log. Make sure that works. Streams request. Right. And then we can say if streams yeah, streams request that is resolving. Is, is resolving, uh, let's see what that is. Is that a function? Oh, it's a boolean. 
It's the boolean. If streams is, is resolving, we're going to return. Return. I can't type. Um, loading. Something like that. So we should see a flash of loading, and then we should see this down here for now. So let's look. So we'll refresh this now. We got loading, and then it's in. So, so there we go. So that's the first thing that we're probably going to want to do is make sure that we are, because we need posts to be able to pick from the post, right? So we 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 need to do that. So um, now you'll notice something here. Um, I'm. We always have to call our hooks every time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this slightly differently. Like right, so this is this use block props is a hook. You need this hook to wrap your your um, your the root element of your block. Otherwise, none of the sorting or any of that stuff work. But we don't want to just call this art like this. Um, conditionally calling hooks is is bad is bad news. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Um, I'm technically not conditionally calling it because it's called in in, in either case. But um, I'm just going to spread block props across there instead, right? And then I'm actually going to probably end up doing this slightly different anyways, but that's cool. All right, so we've got... are the things that I need so um, yes you probably can I haven't uh, I just use I use the the, the WordPress um, I I use the WordPress standards here I don't really extend them yes there has finished resolution has finished resolution um, well, there is something available for that. We've got has resolved and is resolving. Um, what is this that you're talking about? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, restore is package store. Yeah, do something dispatch. Uh, where's the resolving thing you're talking about? Let's select package store. Yeah, you, you can do that for sure. Um, this is a slightly different way of doing it. I would imagine uh, has resolved is probably a wrapper for this because these hooks behind the scenes use the select. They may, they probably don't use they may not use use select, but they they are they are they they are, they are doing this. Um, and uh, yeah, exhausting hook dependencies is also important. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's cool. That's cool, cool, cool. So uh, oh wait. Uh, anyway, um, does it use entity records. Is it actually? I don't think it has any dependencies. Um, does it have dependencies? It's a great, it's a great question. Let's look that up. We're gonna go to use entity. Kevin. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kevin. That's awesome. Uh, use entity records. I don't think there's any dependencies in use. I know there's no dependencies. Okay, so we don't need. We have no dependencies there that we need, need to worry about. Uh, Ten up best practices. Cool. All right, so we got this. We should have a bunch of stuff, and now I have become officially obsessed with this. Um, component what what was called uh, what, what was it someone help me out here it's like the file post meta query control what is this going thing called it's no nope, uh, post meta control what do I call this thing form field form token field I love me some form token field that's pretty awesome uh, okay so we're gonna import 
port. Uh, oops. Phone. Token. Field. What? Get out of here. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that because it's awesome. <laughs> um, so what it what it allows you to do is is it's like a multi select thing. So and the way I, I I'm using it in my other plugin is just like. Uh, So we just have some keys. And I think we're gonna have to do it in a way that it shows the post title. All right, so we'll, we'll get this figured out here. Okay, so I need some examples. Okay, so, phone top of build. Um, here, I'm gonna drop the phone top of build. Phone top of build, all right? And then I'm gonna say, um, values, empty array, option, wait, uh, no. Suggestions, get out of here. What is it? Value, label, so oh, it is suggestions, okay. Let's see, uh, oops. Um, not rot records. What? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. I think it's how that raw, maybe. I rendered it. I think that's what that is. So let's just let's just see what happens. Ah, this is probably gonna break. Focus. So we're gonna get a little. Oh, it totally broke. What is this? Cannot read properties of null map. Okay. Uh, that's what that means. <laughs> okay. What is this? Separate. Okay. So. Whoa. Div can, cannot appear. Div cannot appear. Oh, fine, Div. Look at that. This will stop yelling at me. So we got this little uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm not getting the prompts. I think I think I need to change something here. So slightly here. So what is this? Label, value, experimental, show to, uh, ba ba ba. Max length, set attributes. So my suggestions aren't working. Why are my suggestions? What did I get? Records. Where's records? Records is. Uh, weird. Okay. Well, uh, I should have that. Oh, there we go. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> I was just, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I hate with a passion this color that is in here. This needs, uh, this, style. this needs to go away. I'm just going to get rid of all my styles right now. I don't need any styles. I just don't need them. So in here I should have that. Okay. So the, this is a stream. Okay, cool. So we do that. Okay, I didn't do the unchange. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I need an unchange now, and we'll do an unchange. So where is my example? It's in. Um, that's it. Base control. So I need an unchange. Which I will add. Instead of that, I'm going to call 
Let's hold on. Uh, we'll call this uh, new list. Okay. Um, this is a stream by me. So this is okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. So just for the sake of uh, testing, I'm just going to use some. I'm going to use a, a, a React hook called use use state. I'm just going to use this to. Uh, list and set list set list is going to be use state right and I guess the value is going to be list and then this is going to be set list is going to be the new list all right so hopefully so this is this isn't gonna this won't persist um, this isn't going to persist beyond this state here but there we go and another 30 minute duration okay Okay, cool. So we got that. That works, right? Uh, that'll remove that. Why is that looking so weird? What's the deal, yo? Um, now, there was something else with this form field token that I need to form, form field token. Here we go. Form, I keep calling it form token field. So there's like a uh, on input. On a complete compressed, no, no, no. On change, there's like a. Custom render invoke for each option in the suggestion link. The, the render prop receives it as an argument. It's argument, it's argument, an object containing under the key item key. Oh boy, okay. I'm gonna put this in, and I don't know what this is gonna do. Because what I want to have happen um, is, uh, why is this wanting to do that? I need to go away. Um, no, okay. And console.log. Because the what gets stored is 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 in a simple is a simple uh, array of of uh, data. What is this? Um, and what I want to be able to do is show that show the name of the post, but store the ID. Does that make sense? I don't know what this is gonna do. No idea what this is gonna do. Oh God, what do I do? Okay. Objects are not. I don't. Oh. Okay. see what this what this says <clears throat> custom render invoked for each option in the suggested list the render prop receives as its argument an object containing under the key item the single options data directly from the array of data pass to the options prop <sighs> what <laughs> there's no options prop okay I'm going to do this ID and I'm going to return uh, okay I can see why building this is not not fun I build this I, I mess around with this crap for a living and it is not Suggesting to local lowercase is not a function. Hmm. <laughs> Hard life of the block developer. Yeah. All right. So render item. It's. Why is it? Why is it trying to? I'm just going to turn a string in there, and I'm going to this. I want to be able to see what this is going to be. So let's just see. It just does not like this, eh? Suggestion dot to lower local lowercase is not a function. 
So because it's not a string? It's because it's not a string, because that's a string. Um Frustrating. Oh, let's look. Okay. Custom renderer invoked for each option. Suggestions list. Is that a component somewhere from suggestions list? From where? What's in here? Suggestions list. And item suggestion. Hmm. Oh, I think that might be the uh, title. So I think that error might actually be related to this, not this. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. Trying that again. This test. Okay, that is it. So this is the. I did. Okay. All right. So. So if I do ID, right, I'll need to basically make it a string. It'll break. Um, thought two string. Is there a two string function? Let's just see. No. What is that? Yeah. Okay. Because oh, it's not that. That's what I want. This is ugly. I don't think I want to do it this way. Is it gonna work?
wonder if I just need to... Hmm. I feel like I'm going in circles a bit here. I need to figure this out. Okay, so, uh, all right, so I'm gonna do this. So I've got ID, which is the number, date, team, and name, the author, and categories, content. So if I, uh, I want this to be, so if I grab, let me grab this. I'm gonna set the default value in my state here, 392, all right? So, so that's got 392, which is not really all that helpful because 392 is the ID. Post name is what we want anyways, right? So I guess in the set attributes, what, or what I need to do is, is instead of, um, I feel like I'm going in circles here. I don't know if I need this, because I want it to render, but when I save it, I want it to basically look up and get, that's what I want it to do. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I don't think I need that, but what I think I need is I want to save an array of, um, okay, I'm gonna do this. My attributes, attributes, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have a post list, oops, post list, uh, post list, I guess, post list, and it will be um, of type. Oh, just, f I'm fighting with, um, I'm fighting with, this experimental render item and I don't I starting to think I don't think it's what I want so what I want to do is I want to be able to search by the name but sort of then save the ID so I think I can just do that in, in the on change that's what I think I need to do so I'm gonna do that all right so then I'm going to in here I'm gonna grab my um, attributes attributes and not attributes attributes and set attributes and then I can also just get my post list out of here and this is going to be values going to be post list and we can get rid of this oops sorry I don't need this anymore but I don't need that anymore um stream dot title dot rendered um and then what I want to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to need to probably filter and map, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll need to go uh, new list, new post list, uh, filter, sure. Um, done it for me so let's try that should be a list of arrays here and array of list. Let's see what that does god between between that and chat gpt i don't think i have to do anything again there we go but then i need to map it back Right, because it's going to store the ID, but then I need to map it back over here. Suggestions, post list is going to be, I need to do the opposite. I'm going to do a function. I'm going to say um, const map to uh, host name. I'll be lazy. So, Oh, 
Oh, you know what I did? Uh, I didn't say I didn't save it. I meant set attributes. Attributes gonna be. Is it, is it really gonna tell me? Yeah, there we go. Post list. Did post list. Oh, oh, that broke. I broke something. I what did I break here? Um, that's what I broke. No, I'm just wondering, what is this thing? I don't know if flex. Oh, until we go, it is. Okay. Huh, well, okay. I'm not thinking, this is doing it. Why is this doing this? It's just saving the tags. Just as straight up tags. Huh, all right. Flat term selector, is that that's the whole thing? Right? Oh, form fill token and malicious terms, okay. Okay. That's not really helpful. Uh, okay. Anyways, um, so what I basically want to do is I want to be able to save the list of things, and then I wonder if I can just query by the name. The problem with that is that if it, like, if it, uh, um, like, if I'm going to use WPP query, I don't want to use post title, right? Post. Can you even do that? Can you even do that? Let's see. Post and page parameters. Oh, name, page slug. Use the name, I guess. Post in these IDs, right? Um, post in. I hate, I don't like that. I don't like it. I want to get a list of all the, I, I want to get a list of all the post IDs. Because we're going to need them anyways. Right? So that's what I want to do. Because <laughs> that's what I want to do. Okay, so I need to basically convert to, convert a list, uh, cons convert uh, to, uh, convert to post ID list, right? I want to convert con post title list. It's basically what I, what I want to do here. So I take a list.
Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm like having decision paralysis. Someone tell me what to do here. So I want to. Um, okay. So the new list. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay. So the new list, and then in my new list. Includes item title that, that rendered. Let's see what this does. Okay. Um, some logic here that's incorrect here. Let's look. Okay, got one item in there. Let's go with this. It's not like saving it either. This is you and me. It's you and me. So, oh, it becomes. Is that edit 51? Okay, 51. Edit 51. Okay, so that I have one item in there, not there. So two, there's two items in there, but I only get one item. I want and then this is all the information about it so maybe I need to try to figure out the best way to store this because basically I want to convert the list this this list of post names um, right to this which is what this is doing. So then when I save that, so when I save it, it gets saved there. I wonder if I need to use if I like if I don't use okay so if I just set the attributes here but I don't use the attributes to actually build it out like what if I were to take the I feel like I'm overthinking this my suggestions come from here the same thing but return um, title rendered right and I do something like this oh you would be a stupid new list is not defined where is new list um but new post list New post list. So I do that. That's what I do. Oh, it's still broken. New list. Where am I? I'm at 34. Where's 34?
host list. Right, 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 right. Get rid of this. This is like the crux of it. If I get this figured out, everything else kind of falls into place. Oh, you stupid bastard. What is this? Edit. Huh. Weird. I feel like this is going to be one of those streams where I, I just write a, what's the issue now? Kevin, you freaking me out, man. It's like, what's taking so long, Ryan? <laughs> okay, so why is that getting updated? Oh. Uh, the issue now, Kevin, is that I don't know how JavaScript works. That's the issue. Okay, cool. So then I want to do this now, and hopefully I should get a display list that actually looks right. There we go. That's right. Uh, another 30 minute duration. That works. Update. Fresh. And I have both these in there. I do I have both of them in there. Okay, so now let's look at the visual editor, code editor, and we have two. Okay, all right. So this is, this is working, sort of. So now I have a post list attribute that I am I am using. So um, I should be able I can just inline all this because let's make the code super duper hard to read. Why not? You know? Just just why not guys? Why not? What have I done? Things going. So we're gonna filter that, we're gonna filter that. And I'm actually just gonna use implicit return here because that's how I like to roll. And then we got this thing. And I'm gonna 
gonna just do this as well. Make this a little easier to a little less code. So what you're saying is I was wrong. No, Kevin. What I was saying is you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong, Kevin. No, no. I don't. I wasn't really reading what you were saying, anyways. So don't take it personally. But uh, I, I needed to map the, the. I needed to map the the thing, the thing, to the other thing. <laughs> That's what I needed to do. Um. So yeah. So now I should have this working now. So I have these things, right? So let's, um, should we yeah. remove that? Not wrong, just incorrect in this instance. Joe M. Casta, exactly. There's no wrong answers. There's just really, really bad ones suggested by Kevin. Just kidding, of course. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm, let's clean this up a little bit now. Um, so what I'd like to do here maybe is um, uh, get a placeholder in place. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna look up placeholder component. There's a component in here called the placeholder. And no, oh, what uh, component source? And I'm gonna go for P for placeholder. Element O placeholder. And I'm just gonna grab it from the components package. I'm gonna get rid of these states. I don't need it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap the whole thing inside of a placeholder. I think it accepts children. I think I can do this. I think this is what I can do. Let's look. All right, so does it accept children? Let's find out. Let's find out. So we'll refresh this. Okay, so we got this. All right, cool. This is for comes with it. And so we're gonna need a bit of a label. The imagine is a, 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 a label. Label is gonna be. We're gonna translate that, and it's gonna say Twitch stream picker. should always put your um, text domain in here which is actually if you ever scaffold this thing and you're not sure it all it automatically puts it in your post in your index.php file so we should have a little label here all right something like this twist add items and I turn up turn a bunch of stuff off I'm gonna, What was the other one? Oh, the label. I'm gonna put a little label on here. Put a little label on here. Um, this will be the um, post to display. And that's not gonna be that. Alright, so we're gonna go post to display. Um, and yeah, and that is kind of it. Although I, I'm just gonna do. Um, Post picker, post to display. Okay, so we have these posts. We're gonna update this, right? And so, at this point, we can we can um, have it display some stuff. Maybe like uh, you can move more code with some destructuring. Can I now, Kevin? What's Kevin knows me. He knows I love destructuring. What are you talking about? Oh, like from use entity records. Definitely get something out of there, probably. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's this? Um, I can go like this, right? ID, and then I can go uh, yeah, title, right? Like rendered, what are you saying? So should we really get rid of ID? And I should really get rid of like this. And I should be able to, um, Here, where's the side by side? Item. Item number. Let's 
by something like that, I assume. Is that what you're talking about? I went too far. You went too far. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm, I can do this. And hopefully this won't break. Yeah, okay, it works. So, anyhow. Yeah, I can, uh, I'm going to stop doing that because now this code is just starting to read impossible here. Um, oh, fine, I'll do this. I'll do this. Turn rendered. I think I'm just moving code around at this point. Um, there we go. There we go. Make sure it works. Final. Final destructuring. There we go. Okay. And short duration. There we go. Update that. Okay. So we've got these things now. So there's some stuff that we can do to clean this up if we if we so wanted to. We could do some cool things like um, like we could go. We could find out like is if the block is selected is selected. Right. This is a boolean that we have available to us, so we can say, um, go like this, go, is selected. Um, we can show this, otherwise we can, um, like, render, uh, uh, whatever, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to say here, div, uh, render all the things, right, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to just basically grab all this. Put it in there. So now, when we're when we're viewing it, you know the block, it would show us sort of like what this needs to look like. And then when we select it, now we have this interface available to us again, right? So we click off of it, and now we, we would actually render out the posts or whatever it is that we want to render, right? You can even do that with like a, a inner blocks instance, maybe. I don't know. We can do it a bunch of ways. Uh, cool. So let's so okay. So now let's get the uh, let's try to get something happening on the front end. So now that we have finally my first plugin was approved. We'll now begin to learn to upload by SVN. Nice, came to K. Awesome. That's for you. Congratulations. Let me know if you run into problems. I'm happy to uh, troubleshoot some, some stuff with you. Um, Cornerstone is a great little SVN uh, GUI that I use. It's uh, got a free demo for seven days you just don't run it every day just run it when you need it and it'll last a lot longer than seven days or just buy it there's that too um cool so now let's, let's look let's look at the front end a little bit now so in the front end um this is annoying that it's doing this because it doesn't necessarily need that but we can do wpk we can escape this so this is yelling at me because it needs to be escaped However, the blocks I'm pretty sure are escaped anyway, so I don't know if we necessarily really need to worry about it too much. Um, anyhow, so I'm just gonna open up some PHP. So this this stuff, um, right? The, this is the front end. How? Oh my God! How the front end gets rendered? So uh, there are some uh, uh, there are some things that are are passed to this. Attributes, can I, can I, yeah, I can do this, okay. Attributes, and then we've got content, content, and then we've got blocks. So these three these three uh, parameters are actually passed into the, the, the file that actually loads this. Okay, uh, what's going on here? So, and, um, so if we, if we come over to the front end now, you can see we've got, these are all my bar dumps, right? This is a lot of stuff. We don't need, we don't, we don't really need half this junk. I don't happen to have, oh. I don't think I do. Uh, I'll look that up. I don't know if I do actually have a referral thing. I will check that out. This is some text. Oh right, that's the template. Then never mind, never mind. So the 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 stuff that we that we're gonna use is the attributes. Now the content stuff, as you know, if you're using like a, if you're creating a block that has inner blocks, that's where that's where the inner blocks content will live inside of content. And then block is just if you need like you want to access things like block context or any of that sort of stuff. It's all there for you, but you, 
you, you know, you don't always need it. So this is the stuff that we need, right? So we can do something very simple. Um, we can go like, um, we can in here, we can say, uh, we can do a little like um, for each. Um, attributes attributes um, as uh, ID what, what is it called it's whatever it's what it's whatever the uh, the attribute that we define this so we're gonna do we're gonna, this thing right uh, can we actually do it like this this oh, empty for each statement okay that's fine gonna go um, get echo get post a title it's a title I think yeah god it's been a while and then we're gonna do that uh, hopefully what this will do is and I'm gonna wrap it I wrap it at a little uh, why not? All right. So this is this is where this stream is going to fall apart because I am not a good uh, designer. So um, if you were to build, if you wanted to build like a carousel on this, what the crap is this? Oh, get out of here. Escape. Bit ridiculous that you have to do this in my opinion because this stuff's all going to be escaped anyway. So now if we if we refresh this, now we've got all the stuff. So if you wanted to like do um, want to do a div, why we do a div I don't know. And we can add some CSS on our styles and we can go. Um, I think this is just front end stuff. We can go flex um, display. Nope. Flex, flex. Let's see what that does. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. I probably just did it on the spot. I don't know, man. I don't know nothing about. Oh, wait. Yeah. Is that wrapped in a P tag? It is wrapped in a P tag. We're wrapping the section tag, because why not? Right. And then I'm actually going to want to do this. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got that. So these were like, if you wanted this to be images, whatever you wanted it to be. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Post ID. Now you can, is this, oh my God. The ID. It's probably still yelling at me about O'Brien Globals. God, so dumb, okay. Well, naming things is hard. <laughs> uh, ID is not valid snake case. Okay, ID of the damn host. That is not the name of the global. Yeah, so that's all we'd have to do. I mean, that's all we'd have to do. Nice and simple, right? Um, so yeah, so and if you like, if there were, if there were, um, if you had images or whatever you wanted to do in here, this is the work that you'd need to do. Now, if you have like JavaScript and stuff that you want to like turn into things, um, like we can go and put a class in here called, uh, call it whatever, card. And in my CSS, I can go, is this, it is CSS, dot card. I'll go order a solid one pixel uh, blue. Good designing. Uh, uh, width is going to be 200 pixels. Height is going to be 300 pixels. And I don't even know what this going to look like. Let's take a look here. So there we go. And then we'll do background color. Oh, I can use um, some of my theme stuff with, you can define this in the theme so I can look in my presets down here and I got a bunch of color. I got uh, orange, 
presets are orange. That's that's my theme color right there that I've created. Oh, you can't see that. So in my in my theme.json, I defined some I ate some color palettes, and now my my stuff is available. So I will grab that and I will use it here. You know, the background should be that color, and it is. There we go. Um, yeah. So if we, so we added more, now we could um, introduce a library if we wanted to, whatever that we wanted to do, right? We can do that by adding a view script in here. So we can type view. And what this is going to be, this is going to be a JavaScript file, view.js, right, that I have to create. File, view.js. And here I can go, I can go alert. Uh, yeah, alert. Hi. All right, now if I refresh this, it didn't work. Yeah, sorry, it's view script. That's what it should be, view script. So this, so this adds to the build process, and it actually will find that file that we just created. You can't see that. Find a thing called view. So we, we're we're defining a file in that's going to load. So it's called view. It's going to render a view, and then when I, when I reload this, it should have this in here now. So this is where we could do things like, um, um, like. For example, this Glide.js thing that I just found today that I want to try out. Um, so I'm going to grab this code. I'm going to put it into my Vue.js. And I'm going to install this properly. Uh, set up. Where's this? I think. So I just install it. Now, this is just a, some random library that I looked looked like it, it had a cool website, so I've never used it before. So I guess we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna cancel that. NVM use, you can't see what I'm doing. So I ran into some errors. So I like to use, I'm using NVM 16s. I don't know why, and sometimes it's, it doesn't, uh, doesn't like to do that. So it's gonna install, it's gonna install. So now I need to get in my render, I need to set, Maybe of um, slider. Let's see what that does. And in view, I will set it to slider. And I don't know. I don't know what this is going to do. But I guess, I guess that's why live streams are fun. Hmm. Glide is not defined. Glide is not defined. Oh, because I forgot. element is slider right should be slider type carousel preview focus at center glide mount okay cannot be of undefined reading query selector This is, I don't know why this isn't working. Like I said, I've never used a library before, so it's probably got something to do with that. But um, so let's try you. Let's try new glide. We use a different class, maybe. Gosh. Yeah, I think I'm still getting errors. Well, that's what you get for trying to use something you've never used before in a live demo. So that's, that's interesting. GitHub. Is there like a really simple example?
All right, I'm gonna steal this. All this coat, put it in count. Oh, thanks for the follow, laugh hearty. So if I do this, I'm gonna drop that in there. I'm just gonna steal our coat straight up. And then grab this. And in my view, I'm just going to do exactly what they're saying here and see what happens. Oops. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, maybe it's not loaded in time or something. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. Um, oh, you want to follow me, my stream goal. It's awesome. Yeah. So if anyone's not following me, help me out. Anyhow, okay, so you, this is this is something that has nothing to do with what I'm doing. I just don't know how to use this library. But you basically would, would put all of your, your carousel -y code, your, you know, stuff that you want to do in here. Um, like we could, what, what is it like? Um, <sighs> um, add event listener. No. Anyways, I don't know. Whatever. Um, what is it? document dot query selector dot post picker uh, that's not gonna be called post picker though it's gonna be called slider and the uh, class to be card we can do like card event and then you can just um, right you can do like uh, alert clicked Something like that. Hopefully this will work. Add that instead. Is this, what is, oh, oh God, okay. Maybe I need the DOM ready. Um. Yeah, I know. Don't you start me, Kevin. <laughs> Cannot repurpose it. Oh, no. So query selected document. Oh my God. Uh, do I have to? Do I have to Google add event listener? <laughs> I think I have to Google add event listener. Oh, okay. What is this window? Some element. Uh, get element ID. Okay. I'm gonna get element by ID, and I'm gonna put my ID in here called slider. And I just cannot believe this is being so much fun. <sighs> I mean, I'm definitely in the news copy mode. What the friggin' deuce is going on here? Hmm, okay. Well, I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself here. Is it, why was this not loading fast? I mean, is it, oh, oh, wait a minute. No, it worked, right? Oh, it's, it's loading. It's loading, okay, right? Like an alert loaded. That'll work. Oops. That's working. Why the freaking hell can I get a. Oh, maybe I need to do. Okay. Um, where's the DOM ready? What's DOM ready? Um, comments, packages, DOM ready. I think I need DOM ready. We're gonna try. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna get DOM ready here. I'm gonna do this. Import DOM ready. Import DOM ready. And then inside my DOM ready. Is that gonna work? Is this gonna freaking work out? There! Yeah, I needed a DOM ready. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? So that glide thing's probably gonna work now too then. Because why would why wouldn't it? You know? So let's put the let's put the the I don't know. <laughs> let's put that in there. 
and we'll do the new glide. And that's just me being dumb. Well, query selector. Um, is it a slider? Maybe it's not working. Yeah, it still doesn't want to work. Oh, please use. Oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, we'll get there, we'll get there, I swear, we'll get there, it'll be great, it'll be great, and then I'm going to stop doing this, and then we'll never talk of this again, ever, we'll never, oh no, where are you, we'll never talk of this again, oh, there we go, I don't know what the heck that did, but it did something, um, so let's look at the render here. Oh, that's what we do. You gotta do something like that. So. Just gonna make this work. I have to do something like this, I think. Um, I'll have to wrap the thing with this. All right, and then. I'll do this. Instead of that, I'm gonna wrap that in line like this. This will be an ally. I'm gonna get rid of all that. Oops. So the wrapper is called this thing. Okay, I'm a target ID. All right, let's try. I'm excited. I'm ex excited. No, it's not class though. It's a main ID. Who's yelling? Wait for it. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, this is, that's amazing. I'm going to put all this stuff in there. Oh, there you go. New glide. There we go. What's this? I need that. No, I need this. I need that. No, I need that is what I need. Let's see. Okay. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. It works, but it looks like crap. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Forget it. Uh, worked, yeah. Didn't break. That's my definition. No more JavaScript errors means it works. So pay me my money. Project's finished. Uh, this is, I don't know what the heck this thing's doing. So anyhow, that's really funny. Um, uh, no, no, just go away. Let's just see what this does. Oh, nothing's there. It's just gone. It's just gone. Okay, anyways. Well, I'm gonna call it because that last half an hour was in the closing list item. Did I break it? Did I, did I break the closing list item somewhere? Oh. That's what you're talking about. You all are amazing. That still doesn't work. All right, hold on. Let's see. It's not really what I wanna do though. Okay, let's just get rid of the whole thing. Doing that. Intriguing. Don't know what that don't know what that is supposed to really do. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Anyhow, okay, that's fun times. If you're able to struggle, did a custom made a block and it's fucking drove me crazy. Yeah, I know. Sorry, you guys are watching me. Y'all are watching me like struggle with basic JavaScript stuff. But the idea is, once you have your block in place and your markup, you like, you can render out your markup however you need to for whatever ridiculous swiping library you're using, and then it'll just work. Like in the sense of like you, you can get the stuff out out of the out of uh, good out of. Um, the, the database, right? So in here now you can start, if you wanted to, um, start, you know, doing, um, like you could do your, um, I'm gonna put all this back because I don't like it. And that's why I think it was working anyway. So, those are, oh. And then this was what class was, uh, card, right, card. 
so we could do something where like um that's what is that looking like i'm not so sure this okay so it looks it, it looks the way i want it to look and i'm not going to worry about the the other stuff but in the edit here now so in here we can do something like um we can we we we, we can match all of this markup if if we want to and basically just um We'll make this a section so we can match the markup that we have, All right? And then inside of it, what do we got here? We got basically a bunch of cards that are being rendered. So I'm just gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and then in here, I'm gonna go, um, I don't know, what is it gonna be? Um, it's gonna be, We're gonna basically need to display. So I'm just gonna do a div. Oh, no, no, sorry. What am I doing here? I need to do like a map. Let me go like, um, what is it? Post. Post list.map item. I return div. Missing something like this. What am I missing here? Oh god. Why is this yelling at me? to me here um, oh there's this, this thing and this thing I think that's the problem oh. what the deuce am I doing today guy girls and folks those are all the IDs. Okay, so what I'm going to do, class name is going to be card. That should give me some cards. So those are the cards. So and then when we when we select it, we get the thing back, and then this is this. So uh, I don't actually. Um, so this is going to not be correct. And I need to basically convert. Um, I need to convert the. I need to do what I'm doing up here but that's that's kind of the idea so, so this is your your preview of everything you you want to get rid of that one and you click off it and then you only got, now you got one in there now obviously this is going to get more complicated with like featured images and things like that and, you, and that's all completely possible um but this is sort of like a good starting point and because the hardest part probably well clearly the second hardest part is uh getting the javascript to work in front of but the, the, the <laughs> or maybe the hardest part in my case uh but this part was probably the hardest part getting this and getting the data and making sure it looks right and all that stuff. And I still don't know why my CSS is all messed up like this. Maybe uh, there's something we can um, fix there. I don't really know. It's probably, I don't really know why it's doing that. Yeah, there's probably some CSS in there that we can fix. But anyways, so yeah, anyway, on that note, slider in the editor was tricky for me, though I did get it working. I had to deal with treating the insert like another slide because otherwise it would be at the bottom right of the track, which is partially hidden. That's very specific. That sounds like no fun at all. Um, I would be interested in seeing a bit of that. Uh, yeah, doing a slider in the editor, I don't know. I don't know if you would ever need that. Um, I, I, I guess, I, I mean, you, I mean, you could, it would just be like, are you using inner block? Are you using, we're you using inner blocks for that, Corey, or are we using something like what I'm doing here? Because inner blocks, you can actually have them go horizontal. So you should be like, you, you can see that. But if you're going to want, if you want to like load a library, like a slider library on, on the back end, um, 
Yeah, would you rate Sawyer Wolf in the inner block? Yeah, I was trying to enter Josh in the building in the CF block. Hmm. Sounds about right. <laughs> uh, I, I think, or was it 10 up? I think we, 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 were, we were experimenting a lot with like sliders. And um, it was interesting because we, I'm, there was one project that, that we worked on and I remember we had this really complicated like hero block. And then we ended up doing like a hero block slider where basically you could insert it was a it was an inner blocks wrapper so you could just basically insert as many as many hero blocks as you wanted um and we just we found it, this was a while ago um a long time like you know probably over a year and a half maybe even longer now and it it was very hard to get a slider happening very hard because it just it just everything got it just conflicted with everything that was real Yeah, and that's kind of what we ended up doing too, Kevin. Is like there was like um, we faked it. I mean, we made it look like a slider, but just didn't have the interactivity. So at least you you got an idea of what it looked like, right? You put your items in, and then the, the sort of boxes or the sort of left and right arrows and all that stuff were there. Um, yeah, it was. I mean, that was like just after Gutenberg came, uh, came out. The project we were working on was massive, and it had. Uh, I mean, I struggled. I'm sure there are other folks that. 10 up then who are, there are many folks 10 up who are way better at, at, than, than i so they weren't struggling with me but um uh yeah it was a big big website and we were doing things like loading the classic editor for content before the launch date and content after the launch date you got the block editor experience so there was a lot of a lot of fun stuff like that it was really interesting because you really got in, into the internals and basically um uh yeah yeah Really cool. Really cool. Big shout out to 10 up. Smart, smart folks over there. Um, yeah, anyways. Well, I think, unless anyone has anything they want to watch me struggle through further, I think I might just call this. And uh, I guess it's kind of a, a success. <laughs> it's sort of working, anyhow. Uh, one thing we haven't really, I guess, addressed with this is like, what if you have 10,000 posts? There's no, we don't really have a type ahead thing here, right? Like, there's only, like, I've only got, how many streams do I have here? Like, I've only got, what, five? Five pu uh, published streams. So if you've got 10,000 products, you might need to do some kind of auto, uh, auto type ahead stuff. Um, and we, you know, because basically we're only gonna, going to have like 10, 10 posts here. But anyways, but that's that could be a stream for another day. Okay, cool. Well, thanks everyone. Appreciate you coming. Thank you for the new follows and uh, yeah, good times. I am, uh, yeah, I'll see you all. I guess next week will be February, February. And then I'm going to work at Beja, so I'll probably be off stream for a little bit. But uh, anyways, thanks thanks everyone for coming. This is for all of you. This is for you know who. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content about Gutenberg and WordPress development.